Okay, so in our last tutorial, we took a look at how to use the direct selection tool and the free transform tool to kind of really make some edits and some really fine grained control edits of our shape that we had created previously. What we want to look at today is just a couple more tools to show how we could continue to add some detail and effects to our shape. And what we want to end up doing then is just kind of creating a really basic logo. Uh, that has our name on it. So a couple tools that we want to look at today, you see we've, over here we've got this just simple line and again if we click and hold down on it we see that it's called the line segment tool. We also have some tools in here that might be useful which are the arc tool and the spiral tool so we'll just go ahead and take a look at this. I'm, I'm going to move my stroke weight down a little bit so that's not so thick and with this you could just draw some simple lines like that uh, so again just kinda like what it says again one of the nice things about Illustrator is that as I draw my line down and I come down so that it's the same length as my line segment I can just I know that it, it's the same length because that green line will show up even as I come across here if I wanted to start something here's the center I would know I could draw a line here this actually is the same length where that one is Okay, so. I would know that that is those are all the same. Okay, so line segment tool. I'm gonna just draw some simple lines in again to create some detail or effect. The arc tool. Uh, the arc tool works just like it sounds. It, uh, as you draw, it creates an arc. Uh, it's, you can't really control it as well as you might hope, but you can draw some arc shapes with that as well. And then the spiral tool is pretty cool. You can draw a spiral and kind of have this look to it. If you wanted to spiral more in towards the middle, you can hit the up button and you'll see that it kind of continues to spiral in. Or if you hit the down arrow, it won't spiral in as much. So you can kind of have a little bit more control as far as how much detail your spiral is going to have. Maybe that'll add a little bit more just uh, pizzazz to your logo and your name as you go about doing that. So you can play with that line tool and add some of those different shapes in as well. One other tool that I didn't specifically mention before, I know I mentioned it but I didn't show it to you, was the star tool. Star tool is again, it's pretty cool. You can draw some stars with it. Again, hitting the up or down arrow, you can add more points to your star. Right? And I think I'm going to make a five pointed star. Again, you have some options with this. If you hit the option key, it kind of keeps the uh, scale there. Um, if I was to hit the control, key, oh, if I was to hit the command key and stretch it out, they would keep the kind of the center, the uh, base of it, but I would just really stretch the arms out of the star and make them really long. Right? So I can stretch that out and do that. Okay, so that's kind of a cool thing that you can do with that as well. Uh, make it a star. Okay, finally, the last thing that we want to show is just the text tool. And the text tool works just like it would sound. We're going to go in and we're going to uh, write some text. We want to put our name on there and kind of design kind of a, a cool name for our... Right. So once I click I can come over and I can choose kind of a size. Maybe I can change my font and maybe I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to hit the down arrow and pick a font and let's see which font do I want to use I'm going to use Futura and I can go ahead and I can type my name here okay. uh, still a little too small so I can make that a little bit bigger and then I can kind of move this around if I want to make sure that it's centered exactly if I select my name and then I hit shift and I click on my shape I can come up to the top and you'll see you will have this um, this button here which is your align and it says align to selection or key object or artboard 
I think though I want to do align to selection and I want to horizontally align it and then I also want to vertically align it and you'll see then that it's centered my name directly into my uh, shape here so that's pretty cool uh, but it's really not it really doesn't look that good yet I, I feel like I need some color in here but how do I add color to it well what I want to do first remember we worked in layers in Photoshop and so I've got my text here which is Mr. Olinger and I actually want to just for the moment I want to hide that so that I can get rid of that then I want to select my shape I'm going to come back over here to my um, to my fill color and actually I'm going to drag out this color here and I could go through I could pick a color for it and I could do something like that one of the other cool things that I can do is I can come over and I can pick a gradient and just by clicking down here in this box it's going to create a gradient now they changed it to this white and black gradient and I don't want it to be white and black so what I can do is if I double click on my shape on this little box the white box here I can set a color for it so maybe something like that and then if I double click on this black square here I can choose a gradient maybe something like, like that that look good so I can set a gradient color for this as well okay one of the other cool things that I can do I have this like bar that goes across the middle here I can change this Oops. and then this is going to kind of change picks the angle that it is going to display my gradient on so if I kind of go at a diagonal then it's going to give more of a diagonal oops whoa <laughs> that's not what I want it's going to give more of a diagonal uh, gradient to it I could kind of make it come in a little bit more and that's going to change that so you have some control as far as what the gradient looks like then as well with your color right so I can pick my gradient I'm going to go back to my layer I'm going to make my name visible again and it's going to just go right over the top of that and I can see that so again you can tell that I would be able to see this because my name the text is on the top it's the top layer that's kind of nested within this layer one so that means I'm able to see that then as well. Okay, so what we want you to do then is we want you to go ahead and create this shape, make something cool, put your name on it, um, and some design.